All right, everyone, next up in our handstand prep progression, you get to see the kitchen. <laughs> um, this is the best table I could find. This is a press up. Okay, so this is not um, solely a uh, handstand kind of thing. If maybe you can already do them, this can serve as a pretty good training tool to help you get a little bit more time under tension on your wrists and on your hands. Um, but also it's a good ab exercise. This is a good ab variation for, you know, anybody who wants to work out. So consider that. Let's put my glasses over there. Uh, it's just like a handstand, except now I'm, I'm standing and I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to start kind of like a dip once I get my hand placement. So make sure you don't trip on any cords. You want to flatten your hands out. And I'm just going to jump up here and tuck my um, belly button back toward my spine. And from here, it's kind of like I just keep a pike and I keep pushing until I get in a pike position. Ready? <sighs> Try to control it on the way down. That's what makes it harder. And do it again. One more. It's getting a little more difficult to control. And I held myself up there for a little while. A little while. You usually don't want to do that. Um, you just want to kind of jump into it. That is a press up. How is that good? So that is like a. Uh, it's just like a pike, right? It's just like any sort of ab exercise. I gotta, I'm pushing my feet into here. Socks are really important. This is really hard with shoes here. Um, you want something smooth, something that will slide or allow your feet to slide up. And all the driving is coming from one, from the hands pushing into this because this is becoming your sturdier, sturdier base. And then two, from the legs shortening. So they come up like this, and that's what drives my butt into the air. Um, try to make sure you breathe throughout this one. Um, don't force this one. This one's another, you know, just like all of these handstand variations. If you try to push too hard too soon, that's when your wrist will get unhappy and it will stay unhappy for uh, an extended period of time. All this training is stress on that joint, right? And if it's not familiar to taking these loads, or if maybe you spend a lot of time on the computer, that's stress too on it. So you have to consider those things, right? You need to take care of it. So this was the press up.